Hey guys, what's up? You are listening to Sam Stedman Movie Reviews. Movie reviews on the go. If you're not sure you should go see a film, well, listen to my review and maybe I can help you decide. Today I wanted to talk about 1917, a new World War I film directed by Sam Mendes and starring George McKay and Dean Charles Chapman. Now, this movie has a very simple premise. It's basically two soldiers trying to get from point A to point B. But to give you a little more context, it's two British soldiers by the name of Blake and Schofield. And they're tasked with getting a message to some other British troops on the front lines to call off an attack that would otherwise result in the slaughter of 1,600 men. And their journey takes them behind enemy lines, through bunkers and trenches, and through destroyed cities. Now what I really liked about this film was the moment-to-moment suspense that you feel. There will be scenes in this movie where they are moving through trenches and the way the film is shot, which it's shot to look like it's just one take, you're sitting there on the edge of your seat waiting for someone or something to pop out or a trap to go off. And I think the reason for this intenseness that you feel is because the movie does a great job at showing these soldiers vulnerability. I mean, these two guys could literally die at any moment, and that would be it. And from the beginning of the film, the stakes are clear. These two men must succeed in their mission, or else 1,600 more men will die. And that's a lot of pressure. And Sam Mendes did a good job of making the audience feel that pressure along with the characters. Now, this film had a lot of good character moments too, I felt. There's scenes where they're just walking, talking, and laughing. And what's good about it is the scenes are never cut short by mindless action or cut short in a cliche way. They let those scenes play out and finish, and then the action comes in. And also there's a personal connection for one of the soldiers. Lance Corporal Blake has a brother among the 1600 men, so it becomes personal for one of them. And also there's a scene where uh, the two soldiers are they're bickering with each other and thinking about their next course of action. And both George McKay and Dean Charles Chapman do a really good job with their performances and they show just how stressed out the soldiers were. At one point in the movie, and this really isn't a spoiler, Schofield even questions Blake as to why he even brought him along in the first place just because they're so weighed down by the pressures of war. Also, before I went into this movie, I was told that it was as intense as Saving Private Ryan. And after watching the film, I don't know if I believe that. While the film was intense, I felt like it went a different way as far as the horrors of war go. Now, that's not a complaint, it's just an observation. While Saving Private Ryan was very in-your-face, showing the horrors of war with action and whatnot, I think 1917 showed the horrors of war, but it showed a lot more of the aftermath and a lot of the hopelessness felt in the war. I mean, there are scenes in the movie where you're going through the trenches with the two soldiers and we see the despair, the dirtiness, the disease, and the tension that these men felt. I mean, they're basically stuck in a hole with each other for months on end. And now for the bad. And I'm really nitpicking here, but the film isn't perfect in my opinion. At one point in the film, the soldier Schofield reveals something about his character, and I personally wanted to know a little more about what he said. I don't I know I'm being vague here, but I don't want to spoil anything because I feel like you should go see the movie for yourself. But it seems to me that the plot line is just kind of dropped and never really brought up again. And I personally wanted to learn a little more about it. And also, without spoiling anything, something happens in the film about less than halfway through. And it's difficult to talk about without actually spoiling. But let's just say that the movie brings things up and then doesn't really expand on them and or doesn't really follow through. And... I think that's the movie's biggest downfall. But overall, I'd give this movie a solid 9 out of 10. Go and force your significant others to see it with you. I highly recommend this film. It's one of those films that you have to see in theaters to get the full experience. Great moment-to-moment action slash intenseness. Great character moments. Only flaw, like I said, is they cut things short sometimes as far as personal connections go. 
And with that said, thank you for listening. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I try and put out movie reviews at least once a week. And again, thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys later.